Now we're going to work from verses 17 to 19. Let's see what we have. So remember now, Jesus is, they don't recognize Jesus, but he's walked up and he's walking with these saddened disciples. And he said to them, Jesus said to them, what kind of conversation is this that you have with one another as you walk and are sad? Then the one whose name was Cleopas answered and said to him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? And have you not known the things which happened there in these days? And he said to them, what things? Well, friend, if there was anybody who knew exactly what happened in those days, it was Jesus, right? He was the one who was crucified. But he's, and he didn't just, he doesn't just walk up to them and say, hey, surprise, I here I am, I'm alive again. Jesus is going to engage them. And so, you know, I see you're walking, I see you're sad. What are you talking about? What's going on? That's how he presents himself. And they sort of rail on him a little bit. How could you not know? How could you not know what happened? Jesus asks one of those kind of open-ended questions. So these things have happened. Or what things? And a lot of times when we want to have a spiritual conversation with somebody, we need to start with that kind of open-ended question. And this is an important thing for converse, spiritual conversations. Many times we like to visit with people. We like to, we, we would hope that in this secular, human-centered world, we would be able to shift gears and move over into a spiritual conversation maybe. But a lot of times things just don't lend themselves to that. But if we learn how to, the dynamics of conversation, the dynamics of spiritual conversation, one of those pieces is open-ended questions. And so Jesus here approaches them and he says, uh, what kind of, what do you have in mind? What things, what things happened? And so he's going to draw them out a little bit as they're walking and they're so sad. Jesus himself is going to comfort them, but he's going to comfort them not by just saying, hello, here I am, I'm alive. Instead, he's going to engage them. And this is what we as Christians need to do. We need to watch for opportunities where we can engage people and tell them about Jesus, our living Savior. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for many conversations that are recorded in the four Gospels. Thank you. There is so much we can learn from Jesus and how he speaks with others. And here's a case of learning for us as well. Help us, Lord. Help us to find out how to talk to people, how to suggest that things move in a spiritual direction. And of course, people are free to go that way or not. But thank you, Lord, that we could look at these examples and even take an example here in the last part of the Gospel of Luke about what something we can do when we have opportunity to visit with others. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God would like us to start to initiate spiritual conversations. A lot of times we're just busy. We kind of got our head down and we're just zooming through life and we're in a hurry, in and, in and out, into the store, back out. We've got a lot to do. But there's human contact and you and I are agents of the kingdom. Let's seek for opportunities to move things into spiritual conversations so that others can hear something that probably never heard before and be changed by Jesus finally. God bless you today.